craftsmanship in a word is supreme delivery of design, build quality and features and also of course material selection in a product. Our association with Jaguar and Land Rover and the supply base that goes with it has been very strong over the past three, four years. And it was really the idea that craftsmanship as a term could be applied to premium luxury uh, vehicles that Jaguar and Land Rover currently produce. So that was where the, uh, the rationale to uh, work in this area came from. Dr Charles Tennant there, who founded the Craftsmanship Project here at the University of Warwick three years ago. Now the project is managed on a day-to-day -day basis by this gentleman here, Dr Mark Williams. What are you working on at the moment, Mark? We're working with um, Jaguar Land Rover and their tier one suppliers, We're primarily within the, uh, the, the, the West Midlands and the East Midlands region. Now we're working to upgrade their capability in delivering craftsmanship, which is very important, obviously, to uh, achieve the levels of craftsmanship in the final product. Now, as well as individual companies like Jaguar and the Indian company Tata, you're also helping the wider regional economy, of course. The mission of the Premium Automotive Research and Development Programme is to promote investment and uh, research and development co uh, commitment within the region, yes. Well, there's certainly plenty of investment going on here at Warwick. This is a coordinate measurement machine. This is Glenn Turley operating it. Glenn, what does it do? Yes, yeah, certainly I can tell you. This machine can compare actual parts like the ones we have here to uh, parts that are stored into, in the computer environment that have been engineered and designed in that environment. And each point along here will have a defined position that can be compared into the nearest micron or millimetre to give an idea of the variation. And in this case, working on the front of a Land Rover, a Land Rover grill, what are you trying to achieve? Um, for example, there is a number of things that we can achieve. We can achieve, uh, if we were measuring this part here, we can, uh, we can achieve uh, a comparison of, of the form between the mismatch between the headlights and the front grille. And that will give you uh, a measurement of, cr of the craftsmanship of the part to see how well matched the two components are. Now, of course, crucial to the feel of a car interior is the central control panel. And the project team here has surveyed motorists about the panels on five well-known luxury cars. Mark, who are the winners and losers? Well, the results certainly uh, raise a lot of eyebrows. Now, if I, if I handle this switch, uh, switch key, which is, by the way, is a BMW switch, if you feel like the customers were telling us it's very, very clunky, they didn't didn't like the didn't, didn't like the general feel of the switch pack. A surprising result, BMW bottom of the pack. Absolutely, did so as I said, raise a lot of eyebrows. Now the clear winner was in fact the Lexus. Now if you compare what I've just shown you on the BMW with this, and look at the precision of the switches and the feel, an awful lot of uh, effort and design has gone into the design and the execution of this product, and it really shows. Now interestingly, uh, the drivers were less enthused by the design of the Audi console than the actual designers themselves. Again, another interesting uh, uh, conclusion was this is actually the engineer's, the engineer's favourite. I think they like the precision of the switches, but the customers didn't back up with the engineers. There was a definite difference between what the market and the customers want with, with what um, the design and engineers were liked. So an interesting. And the end of the day is the customers who count. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, over here, Matt Pitts, one of your colleagues, is working on uh, the ideal control panel of the future. What's this machine you're working on and what does it do? Well this is a, a machine for measuring the feel of the switches. Uh, basically what it allows us to do is to uh, measure the actual engineering characteristics of the switches. We can measure most types of automotive switch using this machine. Um, we can then take that information and tie it back into the results from the customer study to give engineers uh, an idea of how to design a product which has customer satisfaction built into it. So how close are you to some real results? I think we're quite close. Um, obviously, we've done the uh, customer-focused work on the uh, premium saloons. Um, we've also got the measurement data to back that information up. And it's really a statistical exercise to tie the two together. Well, thank you, Matt and Mark, for joining us. If you're lucky enough to be a luxury car driver, who knows, you might see the fruits of Matt's and Mark's labours in the next vehicle you buy.